Good day. We're here to present about sex trade, homeotasis, the homeotasis on sex trade affects it, and how to control the illegal sex trade. At first, what is sex trade? It is activities that involve providing sexual services for money, such as prostitution, like for example a sex worker. It involves the use of force, fraud, or coercion to make an adult engage in commercial sex acts. However, any commercial sexual activity with a minor, even without a forced, fraud, or coercion is considered as sex trafficking. For some people, working in the sex trade is an informed and cautious act or choice. For others who have experienced a background of poverty, addiction, and abuse, it may feel like their only option rather than a choice. Sex workers often experience victimization, discrimination, and are stigmatized within our society. Sex workers can be a target of violence, and this often results in the fear for their personal safety. Addition, consequences can be immediate and long-term including physical and relationship problems, psychological concern, and negative chronic health outcomes. Stasis refers to the body's need to reach and maintain a certain state of equilibrium. The term was first coined by a psychologist named Walter Cannon in 1926. More specifically, homeostasis is the body's tendency to monitor and maintain internal states, such as temperature and blood sugar, at fairly constant and stable levels. It is quite crucial for the survival of organisms. It is often seen as a resistance to changes in the external environment. Furthermore, homeostasis is a self-regulating process that regulates internal variables necessary to sustain life. So what is motivation? Motivation is defined as the reason why you are doing something or the level of desire you have to do something. If you want to lose weight to get healthier, this is an example of motivation to improve your health. And motivation is the process of starting, maintaining, and guiding goal-oriented behaviors. It is what motivates you to take action such as grabbing a drink of water to quench your thirst or reading a book to expand your knowledge. The biological, emotional, social, and cognitive variable that triggers behavior are all parts of motivation. Homeostasis on the sex tree. In biology, homeostasis is the state of steady internal, physical, and chemical conditions maintained by living systems. This is the condition of optimal functioning for the organisms and includes many variables such as body temperature and fluid balance being kept within certain preset limits. Multiple organs including brain, liver, fat, and muscle play important roles in regulations of feeding behavior. Energy expenditure and physical activity which therefore contribute to the maintenance of energy balance. It has been increasingly appreciated that this multi-organ system is under different regulations in male versus female animals. Much effort has been focused on the role of sex hormone including androgens, estrogens, progesterone, and sex chromosomes in the specific regulation of energy balance. Sex trade is one of the oldest known professions present across different countries. A commonly used definition of sex trade is the process of offering a sexual act for money or material goods. Half of the prostitutions in a new survey says that they became prostitutes because of sexual curiosity, and 68% consider their line of work as part of their sexuality. Women became prostitutes for many different reasons, but they often feel stigmatized by society as needing help to stop their work instead of society respecting their choice of work. Money is cited by 85% of the prostitutes. Despite the sexual drive, the main reason for prostitution in all groups is money. How can affect the sex trade to a children or a minor age? There are many things that can affect to a child due to the sex trade. One of these are their mental health, including anxiety and depression caused 
that caused by a trauma. As a result, children under the age of 17 should not be involved in any illegal or sexual activities. Apart from them, one of the major challenges in the Philippines would be the increase of data about teenage pregnancy. To avoid this issue, we should conduct the program to gain sufficient knowledge and implement it in the lives of our young victims. The effects of sex trafficking on children and minors under the age of 18 include but are not limited to psychological and physical trauma, sexually transmitted diseases, substance use disorders, unplanned pregnancy, and mental health problems such as depression and suicidal ideation. Other factors such as low self-esteem, self-worth, and PSTDs are also other examples. Survivors require educational and therapeutic aftercare services that are trauma-informed. Michelle was one of the underage girls that experienced working in sex bars, but before that, she was held out of her will by middle-aged man named Marcos Gonzalo. She was living with him at 14 years old, and she was also threatened to be killed if she will go out of the room where he locked her out. He promised all kinds of things and also paid 10,000 pesos when he diversionized Michelle. When he was jailed, he sent letters to Michelle saying that she should withdraw the affidavit and continue their relationship. But Marcos was able to bail himself out and disappear by, but turns out he fled himself to Australia. Marcos was able to go back to Australia because his actual name is Michael James Hackett. Michael was one of the Michelle was one of the girls that experienced child sexual abuse and being abducted out of her will. But the trauma and painful fast that she go through will be with her and can affect her living her life. In prostitution, violence against the women is on the rise and the murder rates among the same practitioners have been steadily growing. Another major issue is human trafficking, which involves selling individuals against their will in order to coerce them into prostitution so that the seller can benefit from the victim's sexual action. Um, this is a serious and depressing socioeconomic issue. Prostitution among all the guys, the girls, or among the elderly, on the other hand, is a severe is a severe mental health hazard. The fact that survival has become so vital among the poor that they are forced to turn in prostitution in order to do so is a significant consequence of one of the most serious issues here in the Philippines, which is the population increase. Because there aren't enough jobs or chances to fed everyone in our nation, they have to resort to prostitution in, in order to survive or to provide for their family needs. Um, there is unquestionably pressing needs to address the mental health needs of the women during and after the prostitution. Men's prostitution demands, on the other hand, must be addressed. Acceptance of prostitution is a part of larger set of negative attitudes that encourage and accuse violence against the women. Um, um, the men opinions that they are entitled to sexual access to women, that they are superior to us, that they are licensed to become a sexual aggressor to have linked to violent conduct against the women. Um, prostitution is a selling of sexual services is yet another controversial sexual behavior. Many people, especially those with conservative and religi religious views, believe that prostitution is immoral because it, in it involves sex for money. Um, regardless in their or the other beliefs, many people also worry that prostitution spread STDs. All of this group thinks prostitution should remain illegal and they generally prefer stricter enforcement law against the prostitution.